Hi, my name is Greg Holloway, and today I'm going to show you how to do a knockdown texture repair without using one of these. Okay, like I said, uh, I've already got a couple patches already prepared. It doesn't matter if you're doing the patches on the wall, on the ceiling, if you've got a uh, just a can light in the middle of a room that you're patching, the application process is still the same. Now, some people uh, can do a patch with their hands do it with a plastic bag. This way is much more efficient, much more cleaner. Um, you don't have to do the tape and plastic process like you would if you're just gobbling it up there with your hands. Take a look at what I have here. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to mix the texture that you're going to place on the wall or the ceiling. Now whether or not you're using ready mix joint compound, which is uh, also known as drywall mud, or um, this is uh, just all purpose ready mix, or you're using a dry powder mix, all of it has to be mixed with water. Uh, if you're really brave, like I have to do sometimes, I have five minute mud that I use when I'm doing a really quick job that has to be painted uh, before I leave. So that works well for me. The consistency that you want to mix it, uh, if you want to get a close up of this, uh, I'm currently using drywall mud. It's like a really thick pancake batter. You see how it just kind of falls off the knife there? You want it not so soupy where it's going to be dripping everywhere. You know, it's got a little bit of thickness to it, but you can still kind of work with it. That's how you want it. And the key product is the applicator sponge. Now notice the divots in it. Um, it works best if you get one of these sponges and you kind of dampen it first. And I'm going to show you how to use this sponge to do a perfect knockdown patch right now. Okay, now what you're going to want to do is once you already have your mix already mixed up in your pan to the consistency that you want it in, take your knockdown applicator, just kind of squeegee it over it. What you want to do is you want to leave it just in the divots. Okay, you see, you see what I've got there? Once you've got it just on the divots, just take it, press it right on, just like that. Now, if you notice, I'm only getting knocked down the texture only, only where I need texture at. Now, the key to doing uh, a really good patch uh, and the reason patches really don't work well when you call a spray rig or something like that somebody with a big machine is when we're spraying texture not only do we spray the patch but there's also an overspray pattern all the way around the patch so we get double texture over here and we get a single texture right here and the patch usually flashes with this applicator we get the texture only on the actual patch where we need the texture. So I'm going to do a couple more here. And if you notice on our patch here, I don't have any plastic down here, which, uh, you know, plastic is a good idea. Uh, I've been doing this for a long time, so uh, I can kind of tell what I need and where I need it at. But Generally speaking, if I'm going in somebody's house and if I don't have one of these, then I've got to cover up half of a room if I'm patching a can light because I've got to drag my hose in. I've got to drag uh, usually two different hoses in. And uh, I'm making a mess. With this, there's virtually no mess. Okay, now uh, again, I'll let you get a good close up look at the sponge. I'm going to put some on here and I'm going to show you just how much I'm leaving in the divots. Let me just kind of squeegee it on. You see how I have this on here? 
The only texture that I have on this sponge is down inside the divots. And that's what leaves the actual texture that we have right here. Okay, I'm going to show you how to perfectly knock down a texture repair patch. Now this has been setting up maybe five or ten minutes, you know, depending on the weather is the amount of time that you want to let it set up. First I'm going to go around and just kind of hit the edges a little bit. So what you, you want to test the edges first. If I can get that knocked down. trick that I use to kind of feather it out a little bit as I reload my sponge back up. Just kind of rake your knife, get a little bit on the end of your knife here. It's like that. A little more on the end of your knife. A little bit more on the end of your knife. See that kind of feathers it out into the rest of the wall. A little bit more. That's how you do a knockdown texture repair.